Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the bridge curve brush inside ZBrush 4 R6. I'm really excited I learned this. I'm going to use this for a lot of projects, so let's just dive right into it. Okay, this is a pirate steering wheel that I've created, or am creating, and I am going to uh, move around and hold shift to isolate in a uh, direction. So then we make sh hold down control shift make sure we have slice circle selected okay now let's turn polyframe on so we can see this better now control shift click and drag to create a circle and spacebar to move in the middle okay i like that and let go of the mouse and that will create a poly group. So now we have two poly groups, right here and right here. If we move around, it will have it created the same poly group on the other side. So now what we can do is hold down Control Shift and click on the outside wheel, which will make the inner poly group or poly groups hidden. And then go to Modify Topology. Uh, that is uh, a few under Dynamesh and delete hidden. So now the poly groups that we've hidden are now deleted. So now we have two gaping holes. Next, uh, well, okay, press B and C curve bridge. Let's select that. BCV and zoom in and you once you have that brush selected left click and draw out a circle around this hole and once you get you know far far enough along um, hold down shift and it will figure out the hole you want to create and create it for you Okay, once that's done, we can go to the other side and create another one. Not straight on because it will want to create or modify the other line that we just created. So rotate it a little bit and start drawing out another line. Now you can go as far as you want to. Doesn't have to be perfect. ZBrush is pretty smart and it will figure out this hole with or without your help and at any time you can hold down shift to create that nice smooth circle and there it is it just created a bridge between those two gaps and now we have a nice clean circle now to make this its self and stuff let's um go up to the top and make polymesh 3D. I've made a few of these uh, but as you can see we have just created something with the um, bridge curve brush. Really exciting. I suggest everybody use this as much as you can. And if you have any comments please you know write down below and subscribe if you can. Thanks everybody.